Hey makers, this is Thruveen and today I am going to talk about how we can create offline capable power apps. We will develop one canvas app which is offline capable and which we can run on our mobile devices without internet connectivity as well as we can run that application from our windows application for power apps. So we will check about everything in detail throughout this video. So stay tuned till end. But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram and Twitter so far, do follow me. So let's get started. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I already created one power apps. Over here I have one dataverse table connected for event registration. Over here whenever a user click on new button, we have five different field captured over here. Name, college, email, phone number and total set. When they hit save, basically it will store that information into my Dataverse table. Now this is the behind the scene Dataverse table where I have created these 5 different columns. Now the question arises in our mind that let's say for an example whenever we do not have any internet connectivity at that time it should store that data into the local storage and when the internet connectivity is back we can sync up those records back to our Dataverse table. This is the requirement that we are going to achieve here. So over here on my power apps you can see that I have one icon for online and offline status. By using that we can identify that whether my machine or my device has internet connectivity or not. And there is a sync icon over here using which we can easily sync up our offline data to the cloud data. So let's get started for step by step development of this process. One more important thing. In order to prepare the offline capable app into Power Apps Canvas app, basically we need to use two functions which is save data and load data. So let's get started and explore more about that in detail. Here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have created blank canvas app. Now I am going to create one scrollable screen to create my form. So I created one scrollable screen over here. I am choosing one of the theme orange over here. Now let's just apply title over here with event register. Now this is my data card and inside that I want to create my form. First of all let's connect our Dataverse table. So this is the architecture of my Dataverse table where I have college, email, name, phone number and total seats column and all are single line of text columns. I am going again here into power apps and now I will take one label control and one text box control. Remember one thing, this offline capable app do not support form control. If we wanted to create the form, we need to use text box and label controls. So let's create the form like this. So first of all I am going to take one label control and let's provide the name as name. And similar way let's take one text box control so going to text input and let's have that control and let's remove its default value from here and now let's make it like this now similar way I am going to create rest of the field and here I am I have taken five different label and five different text boxes I changed the style little bit and I took one button to store the record. Now let's write a function on top of that. Now let's write a save function over here. To save anything into our Dataverse table basically we need to use patch function. So let's write a patch function. First of all let's connect our data source over here. So for that I am going here on add data and let's search for our Dataverse table which is training registrations. So let me connect my table first. And then we will go to the save button and we will write a patch function over here. So over here the patch function is looking like this. First of all we need to provide the name of the data source which is training registrations. Then we want to create a new record that's why we are using default inside the data source name that is a part of your syntax. And then we are passing through the entire record. 
so here we have five different field so name college email phone number and total seats and what are the values from the form so over here we need to copy the id of each individual text box so text input name college email phone number and total seats so this is the value which i am supplying over here inside my patch function and on success i am just notifying the event was submitted successfully okay so this is the regular patch function now the question arises in our mind that let's say for an example patch function will work only when the internet connectivity is available but what happen if it is not available at that time we can store that value inside the collection and after that we can store into our temporary device storage as a file so let's do that thing so for that we need to write an if condition that if connectivity is available then patch function else i want to store into collection and store that in a file into my local device so let's apply that change in power apps if you wanted to check if the connection is available or not you need to use a condition if connection dot connected which means that connection is available then we are using patch function else we need we will write one another function to store that value inside the collection now in the else part what i am doing here is i have created one collection call event data i am creating different column over here like this and over here i am supplying the different values so same patch functions logic i am adding inside my collection okay so for offline we are doing this activity so this is my offline code okay whenever internet is available it will work with the patch function else it will go with the offline thing okay after that i need to store this collection into some local file for that i will use a function save data so search for save data and in save data the first parameter is source source is my collection so i am copying my collection name and paste it over here then comma and you need to provide the name of the file so double inverted comma and provide any valid name of the file so i will provide here the name as offline event data okay so save data function is used to store your collection into your local storage okay press semicolon and let's notify the user that the event has been submitted successfully okay so we are done with our save function so that's great and now we want user to redirect on the another page okay so for that what i have done here is i will use the navigate function so let me create one home screen so i'm just going here and let's provide this screen as home screen and this screen as new form which we define okay and now go to the save button again and at the bottom just write a code for navigation so i'm just adding my navigation code over here let's format the text and the code will look like this now let's create home screen so for home screen i have one new screen over here i had taken one label control and this is my gallery control now i need to bind the gallery first so for gallery binding what i want to do here is on the on visible of the screen first i will check if the connection is available or not and according to that i will load my data over here onto this screen so the overall code is looking like this if i have an internet connectivity then it should store my data verse table data inside the collection and store that collection into cached file else it will load the data from the saved cache file and load into gallery okay so we are done now we need to go to the gallery control and let's provide our collection so here i am providing data source as this collection now let me go to the new screen and come back here my on visible has been triggered and now uh, let's provide the different things over here so let me configure the different fields so this is my title so i will use this item dot name 
then I would like to have here as this item dot email and this item dot total seats all right so i am populating this many of thing into my grid okay so we are done now you can see that there is one error because save data is not a browser function so just ignore that and when you run this application into your mobile devices or on your windows application it will work for sure so let's keep as is okay now i additionally add couple of more thing over here I added one of the icon over here for online and offline capability and what I am doing here is on fill I just added a condition if connection dot connected means internet connectivity is available then green color else red color okay and similar way I have one text condition if connection dot connected then online or offline okay then I have created one more icon here let's say if there is no internet connectivity and we stored everything offline and now we want to sync that back to my data was table online then what i need to do i added one icon over here and on that i have written some code let me show you on click of this icon what i am going to do here is first of all i will load my event data so this is the event data that we stored into this stage so on save button we have code that we are storing that data into this file offline event data and we have this collection called event data okay so what i am going to do here is i am going here and first of all i will apply for each loop on the collection so first of all we need to bring the data back from that file for that I will use a function load data inside that just provide the name of the collection call event data and just provide the file name which is offline event data that we have here call event data and offline event data okay so this is the name we used during the save time so now we are going to retry that from our local file so first of all we are retrieving it then we will use for all loop and patch each individual item into my dataverse table so i use for all loop i use the patch function uh, it is exact similar as we did here into your new form section so same function we used over here same patch function only difference is that we are using that into loop during this time so for all and this record this record and we are just storing that okay after that we will just notify that sync is successful and then we are clearing our collection and we will use a function clear data to clear our cache file so this is the offline event data that we stored so we are just clearing that particular file so next time when you do it will create one more file with offline event data okay so whenever sync is completed it will just remove that file okay so this is the overall concept and it will look like this so hope so far you are good with me let me summarize everything over here so what we have done as a first part we created a form we have one save button we have a code that if it is connected use a patch function else use save data function and store it into one of the offline file over here okay now what happened here is uh, if it is offline saved file during the sync time we are having this code first of all we are getting the data from that offline file we are applying for a loop and write a patch function and after that we will remove that particular local file from your device okay and on visible we have written a code that whenever the internet is available just load everything into cache file so whenever it is offline it we will can consume that cache file to load the data okay so this is how the overall concept of offline capability of the app will look like now let me just publish this app and we will test it with the mobile device as well as windows application so let's get started all right so now let's test that into windows application for that i'm just going here and i'm searching for power apps application 
So make sure that in your Windows 10 or Windows 11, you have installed the Power Apps. If you haven't, just open your App Store and install Power Apps application. I already installed, so I am opening that Power Apps application over here. So you can see that it has opened the different application for my tenant over here. Now I need to search for event registration offline. So let me just open it up. So I'm opening this app and it has started loading the app. You can see that app has been loaded successfully and it has online status at this moment. Now what I want to do here is I just want to turn off my network. So what I'm doing here is from my other screen I'm just turning off my internet connectivity. I just turned off my internet connection and you can see no internet over here. Let's see what happens now. You can see the offline option over here. Now I am clicking on the new icon. And now let me fill up the information. So I am just fill up the information over here. So I just added marks information over here. And now I am clicking on save. So basically it is successfully submitted and it has stored that information into the local storage. Now let's do one thing. Let me just reconnect my internet over here. And now let me show you how it will sync up the data now. So I just turned on my internet connectivity and let's wait for status to be updated over here. So you can so you can see here it is showing the reconnected over here. And now let's try to sync up those records. So I am just clicking on this button to sync up that data. And it synced successfully. That's great. Now let me reopen my app. So I am just reopening my app and we can see that that record has been successfully stored into my Dataverse table. Isn't that cool? Now, same thing you can try with your mobile device as well. Open your mobile, open the Power Apps application and try the same thing by your own and share your opinion with me in the comment section. So this is how we can simply create offline capable Power Apps. Isn't that cool and amazing? If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit thumbs up and press the bell notification for my channel. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any consultation, this is the website, let's work together. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media handle like Twitter, Instagram and all the links are available over here on the channel cover homepage. Also, I have created a dedicated channel for short content and Hindi content on Power Platform. Make sure that you subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well. With this, this is Thruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.